everybody, this is Praxis, and it's a surprise nice day today. It was a little damp this morning, but the sun's coming out, and I've decided instead of working inside, because I can, I'm going to be working outside. The black flies also know that it's a nice day today, so I've got the zap rack. This is a really handy tool to have on site, uh, because if you get a cloud of black flies around your head, it just takes a moment to kind of clear them out, and I didn't zap any there. There we go. Uh, and, and then you can get back to work. I find it really difficult to concentrate when I've got a huge cloud of bugs around my head. Uh, what I'm doing today, uh, in advance of, ah, of uh, starting the sheathing on the walls, is I want to get the structure uh, all nice and perfectly plumb and get it all braced out. I've been working on these braces here. I've, I have outside braces, but I realize I need to have all the braces on the inside because the exterior wall boards go on the outside surface. So I'm transferring everything onto the inside and adding these extra braces to really just make sure the whole thing is nice and vertical. What I've been figuring out is which way they're leaning, if any, and they're, uh, so far they've all been just slightly leaning in that direction. So uh, what I'm doing is I'm grabbing two by fours and I'm just gonna throw one up right here. This is maybe not the best camera placement or maybe that's an interesting angle, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna nail one up here first. And I'm making sure that it does not extend past the outside surface. Okay, that's right there. I already put the ratchet strap in the direction to pull that down here. I get it clicked up at just the right um, tension, and I put a level on this beam here to make sure that it's all nice and vertical, which it is. And next step is to put the little nailer board down on the ground here. I'll attach this down to the floor with a couple of nails. And then attach this to the nailer board. All right. And now I can release this strap and everything should stay. Ah, come on. There we go. Everything should stay nice and plumb. I always over tension it just a little bit because once you relax it, you know, this is gonna stretch just a little bit. So I, I always just pull it just a little bit past ideal, uh, figuring that it's gonna settle back into perfect once you release the tension from this. So again, I just gotta get all the braces on the inside. That includes these braces and also uh, these cross braces. All these guys, I'm gonna make another set on the inside here. Uh, one uh, horizontal across all of them, one diagonal to hold. Uh, plumb and then once I have the extra set on the inside I'll pull the outside set and uh, and then I'm going to start putting the exterior sheathing boards on here and this should go up pretty quickly it's a small structure and uh, you know it's all just tongue and groove boards that's it thanks for watching